As always, start with a square canvas. The first thing to do is select the color black. Then click on your brushes and go to the calligraphy section. Scroll until you find the monoline brush. Next, you're gonna swipe left and click duplicate. Tap on your new brush and then tap on properties on the left hand side. Increase the max size to about halfway and then click done. Next, increase the brush size to max and draw a line from left to right across the canvas, but make sure it doesn't overlap any of the edges. Tap on the screen with one finger to keep it in a straight parallel line. The next thing to do is tap on the layers and tap layer one and select alpha lock. This means that we can only color inside the lines. Select a dark gray color by tapping around the edge of the color wheel and then color in a section like I am here. Then select a lighter shade of gray and color in further along the line. And then a last time, select an even lighter shade of gray and color in the last bit. Next, select the adjustments panel and click Gaussian Blur. You're gonna to need to slide to blur to around 70% to make sure it is completely blended. When you've done that, tap on the layers and tap on the plus to add a new layer. Tap it again and click Clipping Mask. This means you can only color within the layer below. Now select black and tap a circle on the right hand side of the line, like shown. Select the cursor and make sure uniform is selected and drag the circle so it covers the edges of the line. Once you've done this, tap on the layers again and swipe to merge the two layers together. Then tap on the layer and select invert and then tap it again and select copy. Open up the brushes again, stay in the calligraphy section and scroll down until you find the brush pen. Swipe left to duplicate it. Tap on the new brush and select shape, then edit, import and paste. And then click done. Click done again and you'll see the first version of this new brush. As you can see, it's writing in the same orientation that we drew the line. If you want to change the angle of the brush slightly, tap on the brush again and duplicate your new brush. Tap on the second version of the brush and select shape. Then scroll down until you see the circle with the green dot. To adjust the style of the brush, you can move that dot around the circle and change the angle of the brush. So for this one, I'm going to change it to minus 270 degrees and you can see the difference it makes to the brush. It's only subtle, but it's a nice way to make a lot of different versions of the same brush. If you want to remember which brush is which, you can name the brushes. Do this by tapping on the brush you want to name and go down to about this brush. You can add your name, so if you share the brush, everyone will know it was made by you. You can add in a signature and then just tap the current name of the brush to rename the brush to whatever you want to name it to. I hope this tutorial helped and if you do like, please subscribe and follow along for more.